It's a magic carpet ride. Every door will open wide to happy people like you. Happy people like what a wonderful sunny day. Sweep in the clouds, the clouds, the clouds away. I am on my way to where the air is sweet, sweet, sweet. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? How to get to Sesame Street? How to get to Sesame Street? are a bevy of flavors. Seven shades of love arcing the earth, trailing one rainstorm at a time we are the light out of darkness. Crisp and clean, slicing across horizon at dawn's first yawn. Simply put, we are artists. Artists of unlimited potential, we are 12 bars of bliss, moaning under a Mississippi moon, blue like Sinatra's eyes or Elvis's suede shoes. We are the sentimental mood between steps, creating that fine line difference between walking and dancing. We are Japanese taiko drum cadences, impromptu love letters, we are rocking. Cause it ain't about losing the world, Lord. I set the world. No, 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 no. You can't break even and you can't get out of the game. Yes. I said you can't get out of the game. You can't get out Ooh. of the game. No. Her lips looking soft like two clouds fighting for attention. 
attention. With God's love hovering around her neck like nice perfume, she kept temporal tempo while clicking over cracks in a sensible pair of tan heels. A blue clutch purse leather, skin beautiful as the weather, and a walk effervescent as fresh champagne. That girl floated like a maple leaf. Sepia and green on fountain water, her locks spilling over her shoulders lightly, freely dodging rosy colored earrings that curled like tongues in Spanish mouths. Bonita. Pero. I knew I was Spanish, but I was more than willing to learn the language if it would have indeed gotten me close enough to see the true color of her eyes. Hey, man. That's deep. Ain't it? Yeah. Hey. Through palm and fingers smudged glass and cased ATM window, I watched as she flitted across six like a swallowtail dodging bees. Helplessly, I stared as she ascended stony stairs and disappeared amongst the strangeness of Bryant Park's public. She still tiptoes through the crosswalks of my imagination. I followed her footsteps that led me to write this poem. <laughs>